Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're going to talk about something called fractional distillation. And before we explain what fractional distillation is, let's, ex let's uh, summarize why we're here in the first place, why we're talking about fractional distillation. Whenever you have a solution where the two components, or it could be more than two components, are similar in structure and similar in what we call intermolecular properties, then the intermolecular forces are virtually the same between the molecules of one, uh, one, the one component, or the molecules of the other component, or the molecules of the cross components. For example, with benzene and toluene, they're very similar in structure, so the intermolecular forces between the benzene molecules are about the same as the intermolecular forces between the toluene molecules, and are about the same as the intermolecular forces between benzene and toluene. And because of that, the vapor pressure from a solution like that is simply a sum of the vapor pressures of the individual components. So this line right here represents the vapor pressure of toluene. This line right here represents the vapor pressure of benzene. And the vapor pressures, of course, are a function of the molar fraction of each of the two components. For example, the top line here represents the molar fraction of benzene. And of course, if 100% of the solution is benzene, then the entire vapor pressure of the solution is due to the vapor pressure of benzene, which in this case, at 80 degrees centigrade, would be 760 millimeters of mercury, which is one atmosphere, and therefore also the boiling point of benzene. If the entire solution is made up of toluene, so that the, the uh, fractional component of toluene is 100% or 1.0, then of course the entire vapor pressure of the solution is due to the vapor pressure of the toluene. Anywhere in between, it's simply a sum of the two vapor pressures together. So at the halfway point, when half the, the moles are benzene and half the moles are toluene, this would be the component of the vapor pressure, the total vapor pressure due to the toluene, and this would be the component, the total vapor pressure uh, due to the vapor pressure of the benzene. Just simply add it together, that gives you the total pressure right here. The interesting thing is, since benzene and toluene do have different boiling points, the boiling point of toluene, I think, is about 110 degrees centigrade, if I remember right. I do know that the boiling point of benzene is just over 80 degrees centigrade. So what happens when you have a solution with both toluene and benzene in there, and you heat the temperature up to the temperature, so the temperature is now above 80 degrees centigrade. So what happens is that the benzene in the solution will begin to boil, so lots of benzene will then go into a vapor phase. A small amount of the, of the um, toluene will go into vapor phase because the vapor pressure of the uh, toluene at that temperature. And so most of the vapor then that gets collected and goes up the tube here, goes up here, and comes down in here, falls down in there, will be mostly benzene and just a small amount of toluene. Now, what we do want to do here is we want to, of course, cool it down, so typically what we do is we put it through a container here and maybe have cold water circling around it so that the vapor will then turn back into a liquid and then fill up this container here. And so most of that will then be benzene and just a small amount of it will be toluene. That's called fractional distillation. What you then want to do is you probably want to then go ahead and take whatever you end up with here. When all of the benzene is boiled away, of course you still have some toluene in there. So what you do is you get rid of whatever is left in there, which is almost 100% toluene, you pour that away, you take this, this, uh, this liquid in here, put it back in there, which is now a much greater percentage of benzene, much smaller percentage of toluene, and you do it again. And again, the vast, uh, all of, or just about all of the uh, benzene will then, of course, boil away and then uh, go ahead and become a liquid back here in this container. And again, a small amount of the toluene will also go through this process because there still will be some vapor pressure that's caused by the toluene uh, being subjected to the temperature. And again, the next time around, a much higher percentage of what you end up with there is benzene and much smaller percentage toluene. And you may want to do it a third time and a fourth time and a fifth time. By the time you do it about three, four, five times, just about 100% of the liquid that you end up with will be benzene and almost none of it will be toluene. And so you've now separated the toluene from the benzene and or benzene from the toluene. That may be a better way to say it. And that's what we call fractional distillation. And that simply has to do with the way the vapor pressures add up and that the total pressure will be completely, almost completely due to the uh, benzene. So the higher the concentration of benzene, the more of the benzene will go into vapor phase and the less of the toluene will go into the vapor phase. That's how that's done.